るんですけど Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday to everybody. It's your girl here, Jessie. Jessica L. Watkins with J. Watkins Consulting, as well as Vibrant Affairs LLC, right under that umbrella. I hope everybody's having a great Monday, 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 Monday. Yes. Hey, what is going on, April? Happy Monday, happy Monday. I am doing a tour a tour of two of millions of things already this morning. Again. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. We're not gonna talk about the other stuff because we cannot talk. I cannot talk about it, so I'm not gonna get into it. But hopefully everybody have has had a great weekend. I am your girl here, Jesse, and uh, with Jessica L. Watkins. And I am the owner of J. Watkins Consulting as well as Vibrant Affairs LLC. And Vibrant Affairs LLC is the umbrella of all the other ones that I have. Okay, I have a lot. <laughs> but um, I hope everybody had a great weekend and I hope that everybody enjoyed it. Hopefully everybody is 
going to have a great week. Today is Monday, Motivational Monday. Um, and yeah, it, it's been an awesome weekend for me. <laughs> had a great weekend. So we are here for 10 steps on how to start your own business. Okay, from start to finish. I started a series last week on Monday speaking on how to start your own business because I was getting a lot of inquiries about. Yes, hold on one second. It's not your birthday yet. Stop claiming that because that's not your birthday. Your, your birthday is November 19th. Look at what I got to go through. The girl's over here telling the teacher that she is her birthday today. Her birthday is not until the 19th. Oh my God. Que muchachita. Okay, going back to what I'm trying to focus on here. My daughter won't let me. All right. So back to back to the question, back to what I was saying. So I spent last week a 10-day series on how to start your own business from start to finish. I had a lot of inquiries about um, oh, can you start a series? Can you start a series on how to start your own business? How do you take your steps? How did you take your steps? And I have literally gone day in on what it is that you have to do. Now, I'm going to recap a bit of what I did. And I have the videos on my Jay Watkins Consulting as well. I have it on my YouTube channel as well. So, you know, you guys can look on each day. And if you guys have any concerns or have any uh, problems on how to, just let me know. And I will break it down for you. My Jay Watkins Consulting, I do consultations. 30-minute consultations are free. Then after that, I will let you know a price, and we'll go in from that, okay? Um, so I started last Monday on starting how, on 10 steps on how to start your own business. And the steps, and the 10 steps starts from the very first step is refining your idea. Refining your idea meaning you have to know what you want to do, okay? I can tell you that for me, I have a I, I have a vast stuff that I know how to do. I know a lot of stuff. And it might look like I'm all over the place, but I'm really not because I'm organized where I'm at, okay? So if you have a lot of niches that you know about that you want to get into, but you want to um try to hone down on the one that's going to make you come out and be like, bam, everybody's going to want you. Everybody's going to need you. Everybody's going to do that. I am still working on some of the things that, you know, that are, you know, this year has been a very, uh, a lot of a learning experience for myself and my business. I started Vibing Affairs LLC last, like two years ago. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go ahead and do Vibing Affairs LLC, but you know what? I was like, you know what? I love doing events and, you know, people in the industry, you know, you have a lot of people in the industry. You're going to have people that are going to try to compete with you and everything. And I'm just starting out. But let me tell you something. This whole year that I've been doing this, it has shown me so much and it has shown me how to what I don't want. That was that's for me though. That's for me. What I don't want. Okay? And and it's awesome because I understand it. Now I understand it before I didn't. I wanted to be like everybody else, but I'm not everybody else. I'm me myself and I. My brand is my brand and I'm going to stick to it. Okay? So step 2, the first is finding your idea. The second step was writing your own business plan, okay? You have to look into looking and having a, and I also dropped a template for you guys to show, to see what it is. And I also have my own template, and I'm also going to be doing the ebook for you guys, but I think I'm just going to put it together myself because I like to give gifts when I do my, you know, when I do my e e ebook giving. So this is going to be my very first ebook for everybody on how to start your own business. 10 steps on how to start your own business. So I'm going to, the, the charge for the um, ebook is going to be $10, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it together for you, and I'm going to send you a gift with that, okay? I think, it's, I think it's awesome. To me, it's awesome because it personalizes me and you. It gives me that one-on-one -on -one with me and you, and that is what I want, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, third step was assessing your finances, okay? Where do you go to get money? If you don't have an egg already, where do you go to get that money? Of course, we go to the bank, right? Or we go to somebody that's going to invest in us, correct? Okay, so I was in three, uh, step number three. Number four is determining your legal business structure. What are you? Are you a sole proprietor? 
Are you a partnership? Are you an LLC? And I broke it down for you guys on the video. So you have to get on that, okay? Okay, number five was registering with the government and IRS. You have to register because they got to get paid as well, y'all. <laughs> so let's get it, okay? Let's get legit from the door so like that you don't have no problems later on, okay? Let's just put it out there, okay? So today, today is Monday, November the 9th, and we are going into the insurance policy part of your business. Okay, because let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna break this on and I'm gonna be very transparent. When it comes to business, I've been in it, I have failed, I have gone up again, and that is where that is where it lies. Okay, everybody has a testimony. I say this all the time. Everybody has a testimony, everybody has a story. Okay, what is your story? Put it out there so people can understand where you're coming from. How did you start your own business? How did you get started? How did you do this? How did you do that? OK, people have the tendency of judging before they can they know what your story is. OK, so you want to break that down. OK, from the door, from the back, because you don't want no misunderstanding. You don't want no, no. Oh, I did. You didn't know this about me. or I didn't know this about you and all this other stuff. No. If you guys are coming in, say hello so I can acknowledge you. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, April. Hopefully, everybody's having a great Monday. I am feeling 100% right now. I'm actually detoxing. I got to get my water intake because I haven't been doing things water like, I, like I'm like i supposed to. So it's going crazy. But today, we are starting day six on how to start your own business. Ten steps on how to start your own business. Please share if you can. And let's get into it. Let's get into this insurance thing. All right, y'all? All right. So. Step six is purchasing an insurance policy, okay? It might slip your mind as something you'll get around to eventually. But purchasing the right insurance for your business is an important step that should, be ha that should happen from the door, from the launch, okay? Even if you're not getting um, clients, even if you're not getting um people that are going to be looking at your business like the way you look at your business and i've made that mistake as well i started but I, at the beginning when i first started my last business i had all of that in order okay but sometimes you miss because you're so you know adamant about doing it all by yourself that you miss a lot of stuff okay it's important to step that's a, an important step of the essential business owning uh breakdown okay that is why i'm doing this 10 day okay this 10 step on how to start your own business because people are not understanding the logic into it there is a logic and demographic just like i'm in a uh, 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 an event planning business and i see this all the time people don't people not knowing what they're doing if you're a hobbyist say you're a hobbyist but if you're a business owner say you're a business owner because that's what's going to set you apart from a lot of things and a lot of people okay Okay, dealing with incidents such as property damage, theft, and even a customer's lawsuit can be costly. <laughs> okay, I wish I could have known this when I had my last business because it would have, it would have really, and I mean, I did have insurance, but for something like this, okay, for something, you know, when you go through unfortunate, uh, uh, unfortunate uh, 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 things that happen in your life and it happened. And they traumatize you to that point. You gotta be, you gotta be upfront, okay? You need to have proper protection when it comes to having your business, okay? If your business will have employees, okay, you will at, at a minimum need to purchase workers' compensation and unemployment insurance. That is, if you have more than five employees okay because it tells you it breaks it down the policies break it down okay policies break it down his cock is what i have and what i have continued since the last one now i'm in the llc part of it and now i know exactly what i need right now i don't have a lot of employees i haven't started my employee into it because i have a certain view of what i want as an employee okay i want an employee in steps and I'm not gonna go into my session because I everybody has a different step on when what they want for the employees. Okay. 
You may also need a different coverage depending on the location and industry. Okay, for, excuse me, for a event planner, uh, a consultant is different everywhere. It's different everywhere. And I'm going to let y'all know from that, from right now, that that's what it is. Okay. But the one that that really resides with, you know, you just starting out and not having employees is sole proprietorship. And that's what mostly everybody starts. OK, I'm going to be honest. with you. OK, but then you have to go up. You have to go up because at one time I was at a partnership as well with my husband. But my husband is not on that point right now. But then I have to move on because I can't stay stagnant. OK, so. We have general liability insurance. OK which is for business owners policies. GL covers property damage, bodily injury, and personal injury to yourself and your third party or your third party, okay? GL covers property damage, bodily injury, and personal. And how I wish, how I wish, how I wish, how I wish that I would have known that from the very beginning, okay? I just went ahead and did this all proprietorship because I wanted, I needed to have that insurance policy in order to be able to move forward with my business and get licensed through the state. Okay. Because that's one of the things that that was, that was an enemy. And if you guys want to know my testimony tomorrow's testimony Tuesday, please be on so you can know what it is and how it happened and what happened. And you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Okay. So if y'all want to know that tomorrow, tomorrow's testimony Tuesday, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to let y'all know what it is. Okay. If your business provides a service, you may also want to consider professional liability insurance. Professional liability insurance. You know what I mean? You're a professional. If you're a hobbyist, say you are a hobbyist. But if you are a professional, you went to school, you got certified, you did this, you did that, and you're still taking courses on what you're doing, then you are a professional. Okay, that sets you apart from everybody else. If you're certified, say you're certified. Okay, if you're just putting out product out there, you know, and people are hiring you to do the product and you're charging $20, uh, hello, okay, what happens? What? How much are you paying for your material? How much are you paying for your labor? How much are you paying for the setup? How much are you paying for the breakdown? How much are you paying for the cleanup? If you're not doing these steps, you are you you're just a hobbyist to me. To me. To me. Okay? You gotta be real with it. I'm sorry, but it's it's the truth. To me, I see it every single time. If you are doing things as a hobby, say that you're a hobbyist and you're not doing it as a business. Okay? Because it takes a lot to have a business, it takes a lot to push yourself, and people don't understand it. People that are hobbyists, they're never going to understand it because they're never going to know what it is to put that work in. Okay? So, if you want to learn more about the types of insurance policies your business might need, you need to go and figure out what it is that you want. Write it down on a piece of paper. You write everything on a piece of paper. It's all going to come to fruition. Okay? I it's, 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 it's a... It's, for me, it has always been that way. I have written things down on a piece of paper and bam, it happened because I have faith that that's going to happen. Okay, so look into your insurance policies. Go into, like I said, mine is Hiscock. So, um, and it pops up all the time on the feed on Facebook. So, if you want to go ahead and do that, then you know, you, you, you're more than welcome to. You know what I mean? So, you know. It is just, it is what it is. If you guys really want to be, <laughs> if you really guys want to be real with it, <laughs> I can sit down here and all day long and tell y'all and break it down to y'all exactly on how it really is. I don't know why people are scared to speak up on their stuff. If you are worth your salt, then you're going to do it as your business. It's your business. It's your business. It's your baby. It's like taking care of your daughter, your, your son, your kids. They are your first priority. That is my first priority. Okay, besides my family, then first God, then my family, and then my baby. My big, my, my, my baby, 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 which is my business. If you don't have a structure, if you don't have organization, again, I have been through this. Okay. And it doesn't work when you when you have one step done and you don't have the next step. It is not gonna work for you, babe. It's not. 
it's not gonna work for you, babe. <laughs> so <laughs> I am hoping that this gave you some jewels because let me tell you, when I started breaking down these things last week, I was getting tongue tied, but today it's like I'm all there. I'm there with y'all. I'm there with y'all. And I, I I'm too happy because I'm here. God is good. You know, even though, you know, you might be going through some things. And believe me, we all are. I am, definitely. And I, I, I can't put myself to the part, I can't put myself where, you know, it comes down to, you know, it, I have to choose if I'm going to be happy or I'm going to be sad. Because honestly speaking, everybody's going through something, okay? Everyone is going through something. And it's just, it's just crazy how life is. But, you know, things going to happen and you have to be prepared for them. And my thing here is God prepares me in different ways. God prepares me in, it's, cra it's crazy how he prepares me, but I'm prepared for everything now. You know what I mean? And it, I, honestly speaking, it's sad, but I'm going to let y'all know what it is. When it comes to this breakdown and what it is that uh I just put in here, <clears throat> I'm going through some things that, you know, I mean, everybody goes through it, but at their own time. And again, I'm not going to put it out there right now. I'm just letting y'all know what it is. You know, people go through things. People are going through things. If you don't know this, uh, I don't know where you live, but I can only, I can only imagine. Okay. You can't judge a book by its cover. I, those are my sayings. You have to stay consistent. You have to continue the momentum. You have to just continue pushing forward. I know it's hard. Everybody goes through this. When you're a real business owner and when you're doing your thing and somebody try to ruin it for you, let me tell you something. I'm here to tell y'all, God don't stay with nothing from nobody. Okay? God always moves in your favor every single time. You just have to have faith. You just have to have faith because guess what? If you don't, faith is the first priority. The first thing, faith, faith in God. Okay, guys. So this was a fast one. This was a fast one. I don't know. Should I push on to the seventh step or leave it for tomorrow? Because it's even shorter than the one today. What y'all think? Drop a one if you guys want me to continue doing the day seven or you guys want me to do it day by day. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I'll wait for y'all to let me know. But continuing that, you know, having an insurance policy when it comes to your business is always awesome. You have to have it. There's no way around it. There's no way around all these steps that you're going to have to go through. And again, I'm going to be providing an ebook, but I'm going to put that ebook together for myself because I like to personalize and be one on one with you and be able to help you on the step that you are going to need. Again, let me show you this book. This book is here. Is from Dana Thomas. She is out of Atlanta. Dana Thomas Esquire. She is a six-figure lawyer. If you don't know her, y'all better get to know her because she is the bomb.com. She was at the pricing 101. Um pricing 101 for the um pricing 101 for Caitlin Leonard, and she is Boy, I, I I met her. We sat down with her, had had dinner, and we I mean we really did go into you know things that we needed to know. And even at the retreat, because it was a retreat, and we got to go, I got to go, and it was it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, she had so many jewels, and even after the fact, she's a busy woman because guess what? She runs her own dang on business. She's a lawyer, so why not? You know what I mean? Why not? She is doing her thing. Six-figure woman. Hey, I, I got mad props for you because you are doing the damn thing. <laughs> okay, so if you want to look at this book again, here you go. It's a guide to building a solid legal foundation. Okay, and again, she is awesome. If you guys don't know who she is, her name is Dana Thomas Esquire. Dana Thomas Esquire. And she is out of this world awesome. Okay. She 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 was I mean she was outstanding. She was one on one with you. 
it was me and my my sisters. Hi, shout out to my sisters, my five sisters. Oh man, Tiffany Toxie, you are doing the dog on finger. I saw you this weekend. You know, girl. Tiffany Toxie out of um Atlanta. And also uh her bestie Shay Shay, Shanae. They are doing the dog on thing. I'm gonna get there one day. <laughs> I am going to be there with y'all. Okay. Cindy. I have not seen you in a minute, but I'm good, Farsia. You good? Hopefully, everybody's having a great day, and hopefully, everybody's doing great. And for you know who I'm talking about, you on there, okay? So, you guys have to continue doing things the right way so you do not fall into that you don't need to be falling into, okay? And I wish that I would have known this from the very beginning when I first started my first business. Again, tomorrow's Testimony Tuesday. And I will be live doing my testimony Tuesday and also breaking down step seven. So, you guys, if you would like to join me, let me know. Please, please, please share the live. Um, it, it's it's always good to April because you know it covers you. You never know what and again, the reason why I tell you is because I've been through some things, and I will let you know tomorrow on day seven on why I tell you what I tell you, okay? And it's a testimony, it's Testimony Tuesday. If you guys are wanting to know my testimony, let me know. And we're gonna go ahead and go into the testimony because tomorrow is gonna be shorter. It's gonna be branding, um, tomorrow's gonna be your team. That's another thing that I'm gonna go into. But I think it is. Like me, for me, I'm just starting out as well as an event planner here in Memphis, Tennessee. I started in, um, in the last town that I was in, uh, in Tennessee, but um, I didn't want to pursue it there. And again, it's going to be because of my testimony, and I will let you guys know tomorrow. But um, with his cops, I pay forty one sixty six for insurance. Okay, and that's just the basic right now, because if I wanted to do something different when I get my team together get that policy going for my, you know, employees, then that's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up in price because of the fact that I have people under me. The only other person that's under me is my husband, but we're, you know, we're partnership and he does his thing and I do my thing, but I keep mine when it comes down to, you know, my business vibrant affairs, LLC. Okay. So yeah, I think, I think I really feel like you need to. I'm just, I'm just giving you that because I, I, you know, everybody goes through something and you don't want your business to be jacked up by somebody else because they're haters. Okay. That's just a jewel for you. You will take it as you're going to take it, but I'm letting you know what's up. That's it. Oh, so, yeah. So now that we're done with the business 101, I'm just gonna give y'all some things that I just found, that I just got. And these are presents that I got from my people. And I will be doing a giveaway on some of these things. I'm gonna I have some palettes. Yes, there are elf palettes, some brushes, and some brushes. Okay. Now we have this palette here, and then we have I have two palettes actually, and they're gonna be giveaways and they're gonna be Christmas giveaways. As a matter of fact, I have two palettes, and if you guys don't know, I am a also a guru for makeup. I love makeup. I do makeup on myself. I haven't done it on anyone else, but if you guys are interested, I will be doing a giveaway on Alzi Cosmetics, which is my other business. It's under Vibrant Affairs LLC. It goes under all of that because I have an LLC and also. Because, you know, it's just a lot. And I'm just starting out. Again, I'm just starting out. Okay? That's what's going to happen when you're just starting out. You want to start from one step to the other. Okay? So I'm going to be doing a giveaway on one of those items today, this evening. Also, also wanted to let you know that I'm doing my basket giveaway. It's a raffle. And the basket giveaway raffle is for Christmas basket raffle. And the Christmas basket raffles entail a spa basket, a candy basket, and a wine basket. I'm also 
into the wine thing. I love wine. Um, I had wine this past weekend, this Saturday night. I had, and I celebrated with my husband. And we had a nice time. And it was awesome. Okay, so if you guys are interested on the Christmas basket raffle, let me know. PM me. Drop, drop me a line. And it's through Vibrant Affairs LLC since we're just starting out. It's our first annual Christmas basket raffle. Okay? So, I'm going to get off of here, y'all, because I got to go watch my baby girl. But I hope everybody has a great day. Hopefully, everybody's having a great Monday. Continue the momentum, guys. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something because guess what? They're not in the position that you're in. Okay? So, I hope everybody has a great day. I hope everybody has a blessed one. And, yes. Okay, guys. All righty, guys. I hope that everybody has a great day again. Happy Monday. God bless everybody. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Okay, guys. Bye, guys. Here, Jessica L. Watkins with J. Watkins Consulting and Vibrant Affairs, LLC. Hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. God bless. Testimony Tuesday. Bye, guys.